global warming, man-made climate change. It's actually a really serious problem, and it's not going to happen in the future, it's happening right now. So how we decide to act will perhaps be one of the most important decisions that we ever make. It's an issue we're all familiar with, but how much does the average person really know? Well, the number of things that our climate impacts are countless. From the number of storms and their severity, the pH of our oceans, and even the number of floods and droughts. But here's another really important one, the effect on the Arctic. The key issue here is that it's melting, which we saw firsthand on Sail Against Plastic's Arctic expedition. The ice on the sea, mountains and glaciers, which is so essential for an array of species, is all disappearing with climate change. With warmer weather, snow turns to rain and freezes the ground solid, making it impossible for herbivores to feed while polar bears lose their arctic hunting ground. Now on top of all this, the arctic plays a key role in the way our climate is so carefully regulated. The snow and ice act as a giant reflecting dish, preventing excess heat from being absorbed by our atmosphere. So in a nutshell, the world's climate is all connected. What we do here doesn't just affect us, and what happens in the arctic will certainly impact our everyday life. Now this is clearly a pretty big deal, so what's going on to stop it? Well, because it's all connected, it means that we can take steps here on our very doorstep to help tackle global climate change. And that's exactly what Falmouth Next to Plus are trying to do. Falmouth Next to Plus and the universities down here in Cornwall aim to create a healthy, ecologically responsible environment for everyone. As part of the carbon management plan, major lighting and electrical controls have been refitted saving up to 500 tonnes of carbon a year. Electric vehicle charging points are available at the Penryn campus and there are dedicated subsidised buses every 10 minutes. FX Plus also use local suppliers for their meat, fruit and vegetables to reduce carbon emissions from the transport. They also have increased cycle parking all over campus. There are plenty of things that you can do at home to help reduce your carbon footprint. You're turning off your lights and appliances when they're not in use, recycling as much as you can, and making sure it's clean when you use it, and also shutting your doors and windows when the heating is off. It might take some getting used to, but eating less meat and dairy is one of the single most important changes that you can make. That, alongside buying less stuff, whose production and shipping has contributed to greenhouse gases. We're all going to have an impact no matter what, so we just have to be mindful and make sure that it's as small as it can be.